I am Madhul Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent comments. Here are two questions from one of our subscriber, Mr. Durga, who wants to understand how to solve questions related with fractions. So one of the questions is, a papaya costs dollar ten seven over ten. A melon is dollar twelve seven over ten more expensive than papaya. A pumpkin is dollar three nine over ten more expensive than the melon. How much does the pumpkin cost? Right. So that's the question for us. Now let us see how to solve such questions. So we are basically given the cost of the papaya, which is dollars. So all the costs are in dollars. So it is ten dollars, and then this fraction seven over ten. So it is more than ten dollars, close to eleven, right? Okay. Now on this cost, we are adding some value to get the melon cost. A melon is twelve dollars seven over ten more expensive. So the more expensive means you to add, add this amount to get the cost of melon. So this amount is twelve seven over ten. Now the next one here is pumpkin is three dollars nine over ten dollars more expensive than melon, right? So more expensive again means you have to add, right, to get to the pumpkin cost. And here it is three dollars nine over ten. Is that clear to you? Three dollars nine over ten. So basically, you have to add all the three numbers to get the cost of pumpkin, which is most expensive. So there are a couple of ways of doing it. So let me call this as my method one. So these are my whole numbers. If you look at it, these are my whole numbers, correct? So I can add them 10, 12, and 3. So if I add, we get 2 plus 3 as 5. And on this side, we get 1 and 1, 25. Now on this side, we have 7 over 10, 7 over 10, 9 over 10. Fortunately, we have the same denominator. Do you see same denominator? So if you have the same denominator, you can add the numerator. So what you get here is 7 plus 7 plus 9 over 10, right? So since it is same, we can straight away add all these numbers right so so what do you get here as your answer as this is equal to 25 whole right 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 9 is 23 so we get 23 over 10 get it now 23 over 10 is a improper fraction which we could write as 20 plus 3, right? So this could be written as 25. This is kind of plus, right? 23 over 10, think like this, is basically equal to 20 over 10 plus 3 over 10. Now this 20 over 10 is 2, right? So when you combine these two, then what you get here is 25 plus 2. Two, and this is 3 over 10. So the mixed numbers could be treated like this. You understand? So $10 plus 7 over 10. That is same as 10, 7 over 10. You get the idea, right? So, so likewise, we will just add them up. So what you get here is a value which is 27, 3 over 10. So we get our answer as 27, 3 over 10. Is that clear to you? Right, so that's one way of doing it. Perfect. The this is actually an easier way of doing it, right? The other way to do the same question would be we could convert these as improper fractions, right? So so the second method, let's call this as method two, which will involve convert mixed numbers. to improper fractions.
So how do we convert? We multiply these two and then add 7. 10 times 10 is 100 and you get multiply with 7, you get 107. So the first becomes 107 over 10. The second one is 12 times 10, 120 plus 7. So it is 127 over 10. The third number here is 30 times 10, 3 times 10, 30 and 9. 39 over 10. Now fortunately, you have the same denominator. So you could write this as 10 and add these numbers. Okay? So we get 7 plus 7 as 14 plus 9 which is 23. So you get 3 here. Add 2. 5, 6, 7. Right? 7. This place, 1, 2, so 273 over 10, which could be written as 27, 3 over 10. So you get exactly the same answer, correct? So for the given question, I will say that the first method was better, correct? First method was better. When you have take away, in that case, it is better to write this in improper fractions. And fortunately, we have a question for cheaper ones also, right? So the cost is cheaper, which is the next question. Okay, so the next question for us is, a box of cookies cost $58, 3 over 10. A box of sweets is $3, 7 over 10. Cheaper than the box of cookies. Then we have box of chocolates, which are Five dollars nine over ten cheaper than the box of sweets. How much does the box of chocolate cost? So in this particular question, you have to take away. So from fifty-eight three over ten, you have to first take away three seven over ten. Right. So you'll get your answer here. Now from that answer, whatever you'd get, you have to take away the cost as this. To get your final answer that will be the cost of chocolates correct so let's do it one by one so the first step here is this is the most expensive thing which you have 58 3 over 10 from here we are going to take 3 7 over 10 so let's rewrite this as improper fraction right so we have 500 and 80 when you multiply add 3 to it over 10 right minus multiply them so you get 30 plus 7 over 10 okay. fortunately the denominators are same so we could straight away do our work this is 583 take away 37 over 10 right and that gives you how much so so the 10 is common denominator when you take away from 13 we get 6 this becomes 7. 7 take away 3 is 4. And you're left with 5 here, right? So you get 54, 6 over 10. Now, since we are working with denominator of 10 itself, we could write this number here as, we'll keep it 546 over 10. Is that okay? All right. Now, let us see what is, so we get 5. 46 over 10 as the cost of sweets, right? From this cost, we'll take away the cost, how much cheaper the chocolates are, which is 5, 9 over 10 or 59 over 10. Is that clear? So we got this answer, which was here. 5, we could also write like this, 6 over 10. Is it okay? But I prefer to keep it as such. From here, now we have to take away this. So what do we get? We get 10 as a common denominator and 16 minus 9 is 7. So you borrowed 1, so it's now 3. So 13 minus 5 is 8. Right? And when you borrow from here, it becomes 4. So we get 487 over 10, which could be written as $48, 7 over 10. Does it make sense to you? So, so we kind of get our cost. Now, in such questions, you could also estimate to begin with. You could think this is closer to 58, this is closer to $4, this is closer to $6, correct? So what you could also do here is estimate. This is closer to 58, 
take away this is closer to four you can say take away this is closer to six right so approximately 10 minus you are expecting answer of 48 you get the idea right so since we kind of reduced it a bit and we increased the other things we have more than 48 so that seems to be the correct answer so that is a close estimate so in such questions you could begin by estimating and then you could calculate your answer so i hope that makes sense if the number here is less than half estimate lower this seven is more than half seven is more than five so we estimate higher four we estimate this also higher four so we estimated a lower quantity so we know the answer will be more than 48 so it makes sense correct so all these things also help us to solve such questions so in the beginning when you are working with fractions it is kind of important to understand these strategies now in our questions since we had the same denominator it was we could straight away do the questions without making them common denominator so i'll actually post more videos where we'll have different denominators and we will see how to work when the denominators are not exactly same i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best